Health. We all know a good night's sleep goes a long way, and a restless night proves to hurt our health in ways you may not even realize. It's horrible. KTK's Kara Rucker visited a sleep lab overnight, and she tells us what the doctor's orders to fight off sleep disorders in tonight's very special report. I'm, I'm really thinking that this coming decade is probably going to be the decade of sleep. Meaning our focus will shift and more emphasis will be put on the hours we're allowing our bodies to sleep. Sleep is responsible for reorganizing memory banks, healing your body. We're beyond scratching the surface of its benefits. Now it's scientific. 20,000 papers are published each year. It might surprise you just how many sleep disorders there actually are. More than 70% of people suffer from insufficient sleep in some sort of way. And there are more than 80 different disorders that people are being diagnosed with. We all need to have a normal night's rest with certain cycles through sleep. Every part of our body is affected by our sleep or the lack of it. Cardiovascular, neurological, gastrointestinal organ systems, diabetes and all this. So it's a big burden. Which means bad sleep can lead to severe issues. People can have heart attacks or strokes in their sleep. One of the most common disorders being sleep apnea. The tongue falls back in the air passage, the air passage closes, and you may stop breathing, you may have lack of oxygen, you may have excessive breathing effort, kind of like you're running on a track. That's what one man experienced in his sleep, his wife and daughter first pointing it out. And they were scared for me, because when you're asleep, you don't, you don't know that's going on. That's when it suggested to visit a sleep lab, which he did and was treated. I remember how I was and how I am now. It's, it's a, I, I notice it. It's great. But the amount of information you get out of a sleep test is enormous. Which is why I decided to do one while doing this story. Oxygen is normal, so your lungs are in great shape. Disruption of sleep is going on, though. Something a person wouldn't know unless they underwent testing. Dr. Gouguet is hoping for two things, more education. It would not be uh, uncommon or uh, unrealistic to think of trying to get high schoolers to have a class on sleep. Leading to more awareness. Kara Rucker, KETK News. And another note from the doctor says this. He's treating people younger and younger for sleep disorders and says electronics do play a big role in the lack of everybody sleeping well. If you have trouble sleeping, would like to have more information, please go to our website.